Hello everyone, welcome back. In this part, we're going to talk about gradients in our CSS and HTML. First, let's say we have simple div right here, and we are going to target that div in our CSS file and give this a width of, let's say, 300 pixels and height of 200 pixels. We have three type of gradients in our CSS that we are going to cover one by one right now. The first one is our linear gradient. And to do that, we are going to type background right here. And for the color of this, we are going to type linear gradient and use this function. And here, first, we are going to give two simple colors. Let's say blue and red. Now you'll see we have the blue color right here, the red color right here, and we have this gradient things going on from top to the bottom. And if we want to change the direction here before our first color, we can add to top. It means we want our, actually we have, we should have this space here. Okay, and this means we want our gradient from blue to go to red from bottom to top. Or we can use left right here, or if we want, we can have right two. And of course, we can combine these. For example, if we want our gradient to start from corner left, bottom of our element and goes to the top right, we can use to right top and this is how it's gonna show and it doesn't matter if we use top or right first both is going to be applied and as this of course we have top left bottom left and other combinations but if we want to add some other values here we just can have that by adding parameter right here so let's say we want green right here so if we add this, you see now we have blue, red, and green after this. Or maybe we want another yellow right here. We can have that. After this, let's say we want an hexadecimal things, uh, 0, F, E. You can see now we have that one right here. Another thing that we can have is to give this a color of purple, for example, in the first place. And then we have transparent right here. And you see now it's going from purple to the transparent by the direction of right to the left. And of course we can have other colors right here. But you see here we have the red taking the most of our background right here. And to do that we can have parameters after this one we put in to take how much of the space that we want. For example, let's say we want the 50% of our shape to be in the purple, then goes to 20 pixels of red, and then goes to transparent. The next type of gradient that we have is our radial gradient. That here, as same as linear, we can have simple colors going on let's say we have red and blue right here you see now it's started from red and going to blue from inside to the outside and again we can add some other colors that we want let's say we want another yellow there and maybe a green after that we can have all of them right here let's clean these so we have a little better looking thing going on here. Okay. But let's say if we have 100 pixels of height instead of, let's say we have 100 pixels here in the height instead of 200 pixels. And let's say we want the red to be in sharp 50% of our background. You see, this is not circle. And this is the circle shaped into the size of our element. To fix that here, we can have a parameter of circle and actually circle 
Yes. You can see now, by the way, we have 100 pixel here. We again getting the whole perfect circle right here. And if I change this to 300, you see that we have perfect circle going on. And if I make this, let's say 20, you can see how beautiful is going to be shown. And after this, we have another type of gradient called conic gradient. And here, of course, we can have the same things that we have learned in the things before. And you see that it starts from the single point of the center top and going to rotate to the other side of that clockwise and to the right, bottom, left, top and the right and giving that gradient that we want. And here, if we have lots of colors, you can see how it's going to be act. And if you want to connect this line and make this line disappear, you can simply put the first color that you get in the last parameter and you shouldn't have anything else. Let's say we have a black here and another red after black. You see now we have this thing going on which now we don't have that sharp line in the middle and top of our element. And here if we use border radius property and give the value of 50% which means make the element all circle you see how we can use this right here. But if we remove one of these and let's say we want this line and the start of our gradient to be let's say in here or wherever that we want. To do that here before our first parameter we're going to put another one and that is from which degree that we want. For example if I say 100 80 deg it's going to start from 180 degree after this line right here so here is the 90 and here is the 180 degree and going to start from here and of course if we use 30 instead of 180 it's going to start from here and going there and after this we have another thing that we can use with this type of gradient and that is be adding the repeating keyword before our conic gradient and here if I say for example I want 10% of red sorry blue and then 20% of green if you need a space there now you'll see it divides the element in some little things and applying this gradient to it. And here if I have let's say simple conic gradients right here and I want the blue to start from 0 degree to 90 degree right here. And after this I want the green to start from 90 degree to let's say 270 degree. And after this let's say we have the red color and that is going to start from 270 degree and going to the 0 or 360. You see by this method we can create this kind of pie charts in our web design. And let's say if I have another uh, maybe yellow color right here and this red goes from 90 sorry 270 to 280 degree and after that I have this yellow which is going from 280 degree to the 0 or 360 you see I can have this and some other explanations right here to show how I want to divide my pie chart Please give a like and subscribe to catch next videos.